So I found a weapon that has to be the most powerful in this game. This weapon literally does up to 20k a crit shot. It's capable of one shotting more zombies with the basic mods I have on it which ain't nowhere near the best. It can two shot crushers. So yes, this thing is a must get and today guys I'll guide you through how you can get Peggy. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So Peggy is a rifle you see actually real early on within a side quest called the death of the party. This uh, weapon is in the hands of a guy you will meet within this side quest. So this side quest is located right here in Bel Air. It's called, like I said, the death of the party, and this is one you will have to complete uh, to progress on to get this Peggy weapon. This quest you first meet Curtis, the old retired actor. So completing this early on sends him to stay at Emma's mansion where you need him to be. So from here guys, you have to progress the game further, and he will eventually have another side quest for you. I have completed the game, I did so before I realised he had one, but this isn't necessary. You do not have to complete the game to get this side quest, but as you do progress, he will eventually have this quest for you, so if he doesn't so far, keep checking back. So the second quest is called Creature Comforts, and it sees you going out on an errand run for Curtis, as he wants you to pick up some whiskey, wine and cigars. So first up you'll have to head back to that first mansion you would have come to start in the game. As you progress through this area you need to grab a few items to complete this stage. One is found as you enter the back door right here on the side. Then you want to come to the wine room. There's a couple of things here you need to grab. Now guys you need to head upstairs and go to that guest bedroom where you can only get in from the outside because it's locked from the inside. Be careful though of those shotgun traps, they are brutal. When you are in here you will find Cindy's safe. To open this you will need to head back downstairs and you will find Cindy the Screamer. Take her out, grab those keys, go back to that safe and you are done at this part. Now guys you need to head as indicated on your map to the gold pen house. Firstly in here you need to head down to that wine cellar room then break your way in. There will be a few zombies to take care of so do what you gotta do here. Then guys look around and grab all what's on offer here alcohol wise. When you are done here you get a radio call from Curtis asking you to get him some cigars. These are in the master bedroom but it's locked from the inside. So here you need to go onto the roof area and jump down as I do on screen now. Now once you break into this room from the outside, it, the alarm goes off and notifies so many zombies, it's unreal. So you need to take them out. Then guys, all you have to do is walk into that walking wardrobe area and grab those cigars. Then you, all you have to do is head back to Emma's mansion and go to Curtis. He will now reward you with Peggy. And there you have it people, one of the most powerful weapons in this game. Now the mods I have on mine ain't the best you can get but I mean if you want them but don't have them check out the video description for more info on them. But yeah guys this thing is a must have, it's by far the most powerful weapon I have used and I have all legendaries in the game. Guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.